Hello everyone, welcome back to Franchi Talks Asian Arts, I'm Franchi and today I'm taking you on a little trip to the city of Izuhara on the island of Tsushima in Japan. Here we will explore all historical locations connected to samurai history of the city. So I hope you're gonna love this video as much as I loved exploring Izuhara. Izuhara began its development as a castle town in 1486 when the residence of the So feudal family was moved to this location. At this time, samurai residences were built and these were surrounded by stone walls. And many of these stone walls and original gates to the houses still exist. What's more, during the Edo period the city was often struck by large fires and so the authorities built firewalls to prevent them. The sculpture in the center of the city represents So Yoshitoshi, the clan leader of the So family in the 17th century. The So clan ruled from the end of the 14th century until the beginning of the modern era in the late 19th century. The rule of So Yoshitoshi was eventful to say the least. At the end of the 16th century, the shogun Toyotomi Hideyoshi had decided to invade Joseon Korea as the first step to achieving his ultimate goal of conquering China. Due to the island's trading engagement with Joseon Korea, So Yoshitoshi tried to delay and prevent the conflict, but ultimately was unable to do so and was actually put in charge to lead many of the attacks on the Korean peninsula. Ultimately, the invasion was not successful and after the war, So Yoshitoshi worked towards repairing the trade relations with the continent, doing anything in his power and beyond to achieve this goal, including forging official diplomatic documents. A temple was erected in his memory in 1615 by his son So Yoshinari. It was called Ban Shoin after So Yoshitoshi's posthumous Buddhist name, and it became the family temple of the So clan. Most of the original structure was destroyed by fire, with the exception of the Sanmon Gate, which remains as it was at the time of construction and houses two Neo Garden statues. The current main hall, decorated according to the style of the Tendai school of Buddhism, was rebuilt in 1879. Inside the hall we can also find the Mitsugu Soku, a set of three Buddhist utensils which include a candlestick, an incense burner and a vase. These are placed in front of a statue of Buddha when holding a memorial service. This set is believed to have been a gift from the King of Joseon Korea, sent as an expression of condolences for the death of the head of the Seo family. The Bansho Inn also houses the tombs of the Seo family in a graveyard situated beside the temple. It can be reached by walking up a staircase called Hakugangi, which counts 132 steps. The graveyard consists of three main areas. On the cemetery's lower levels are the tombs of family members such as concubines and children who died young. On the uppermost level there are the tombs of the soul lords and those of their wives and adult children. This level is overshadowed by three giant cheddar trees. The graves are marked by Japanese stone pagodas called Korinto and other stone monuments and Buddhist imagery. 
words really cannot convey the timeless atmosphere and the beauty of this place. Not far from Banshoin, located on Mount Shimizuyama, are the ruins of Shimizuyama Castle. This fortification was built when Toyotomi Hideyoshi decided to invade the Korean Peninsula, and it was meant to work as a defense in a case of a counterattack. The castle was made up of three flat areas called Kuruwa. Two of them were located along the mountain's ridge, and one of them on the mount's summit. A connected corridor that spanned a length of 500 meters and stone walls along the top and the bottom of the mountain were also built. Ruins of the walls and the entrances to the Kuruwa are still visible on the mountain. Just below Shizuyama Castle, Kanenishi Castle was located. This was a flatland castle and the main residence of the So family from its establishment in 1528 until the late 17th century. The compound was initially relatively lightly fortified but was turned into a castle with walls and watchtowers in the 1660s. Eventually the So family outgrew this castle and moved to a bigger one, but this structure was retained as a secondary residence and was also used to house guests. Some of the original walls of Kanenishi Castle remain on the site and the main gate and watchtower have been reconstructed. In the 1690s, a small garden was constructed within the walls of Kanenishi Castle. The garden featured a pond which was designed in a shape called Shinji, which resembles the Chinese character for heart. Ponds of this shape are beloved because they cannot be seen in their entirety from any one angle, and so they emphasize a sense of depth in the garden. The garden landscape was made up of large and small stones placed along the edge of the pond at different heights, and also featured gravel shores. These are thought to be an imitation of the landscape of the east coast of Tsushima. The garden had actually disappeared, and what we see today is a reconstruction. Documents mentioning the existence of a garden still existed, and so archaeological research was undertaken to demonstrate that the garden had indeed existed. The excavation also revealed some distinctive features in the structure of the garden. For example, Different kinds of clay were pounded to create a firmly packed bottom of the lake, and the shorelines were created using fine pebbles. The garden is aesthetically very beautiful and also has a great historical value. At the back of the pond, the ruins of the rear gate of Kanenishi Castle can also be found. Finally, the last site that we're gonna see today is the Ofune Dry Docks on the Mount of the Kuta River, set in an artificial cove. These five docks were completed in 1663 and were used for the repairing and maintenance of the vessels used for trading between Tsushima and the Korean Peninsula, as well as the ships used by so officials when they traveled to other cities such as Edo and Osaka. The vessels could be moved in and out of the docks at high tide, and repairs were conducted mainly at low tide. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Words truly cannot describe the beauty of Tsushima and the feeling of visiting all these historical locations which are so deeply connected with samurai history. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.
Bye.